The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston. No, Jr. no, Don, not Jell-O. It's Grape Nuts Flakes this year. Oh, my goodness. Oh, darn it. The Grape Nuts Flakes program starring Jack Benny. No, not Grape, grape Nuts Flakes. What's the matter with you? Oh, yes, I'll Martin. get fired. The Grape Nuts Flakes program starring oh, Jack my. Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Dennis Day, Rochester, and yours truly, Don Wilson. And now we have a new star on our program tonight that I'd like all you listeners to meet. This new star is a favorite with millions of loyal and ardent fans all over America. In fact, this particular star is a morning star. A star that enjoys top billing on a coast-to-coast breakfast circuit. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Grape Nuts Flakes. The breakfast treat that has risen to stardom because of its delicious, distinctive appeal. Yes, friends, Grape Nuts Flakes today are America's fastest-growing cereal. And have been America's fastest growing cereal for the past three years. And why? Because of flavor. A flavor that's malty rich, sweet as a nut, absolutely different from any other cereal in America. And that's because Grape Nuts Flakes are made a different way. They're a blend of two luscious grains instead of only one. Sun-ripened wheat and malted barley. And they're toasted, golden brown and crisp, to bring out the rich goodness of each wholesome grain. So feature Grape Nuts Flakes at your breakfast table every morning. For a delicious and nourishing treat, ask for Grape Nuts Flakes in the big 12-ounce economy size package. Pennsylvania polka played by the orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us turn back the clock one hour and show you what happened on the way to the studio. Jack, in line with the Share Your Car campaign, <laughs> volunteered to pick up the gang in his Maxwell and drive us all down to the first broadcast. Well, that's the least I could do. Anyway, Jack called me and told me to be waiting in front of my house, as he and Rochester would be along just as soon as they'd picked up that. Oh, boy, it'll be great to get back on the air again. Feel good, eh, boss? You said it. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. As I go riding merrily along. Oh, Lily Bell. Oh, Lily. Well, I'll be... Rochester, put down that banjo. You're driving the car. (laughs) Put it down. Grab hold of the steering wheel. This is the wheel. I just put strings on it. (laughs) Yes, drive, will you? I got spurs that jingle. Gee, it sure feels good to be going back to work, eh, Mary? Yeah, but it'll seem funny not broadcasting for Jell-O this year. Well, it's not so much of a change. After all, it's the same sponsor, same station, same time. Well, I hope we have some new material. I'm sick of all those jokes about your toupee. Me too. And pull it up a little. You look like Veronica Lake. <laughs> Say, is that bad? I got spurs. And another thing. You ought to be ashamed having that big sign on the back of the car. What sign? Coming soon. Jack Benny and George Washington slept here. Well, that's... (laughs) That's my new picture. Pardon me, boss, but shouldn't Miss Ann Sheridan's name be on that sign, too? Well, uh... Mr. Benny and Washington were such friends it'd be a shame to have anybody else there. Mary, save those quips for the program, will you? Yes, sir. I got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. I got spurs jingle, 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 that jingle, 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 jingle. As I go riding merrily as along. As I go riding merrily along. <laughs> and they say... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Slow up, Rochester. Slow up. What's the matter, boy? Never mind. Slow up. Duck down, Mary. Duck down. What for? Duck down. Duck down. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, pardon me, miss. Uh, I'm cooperating in the Share Your Car campaign. May I give you a lift to Hollywood? Like I told you yesterday, no. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. Drive on, Rochester. That's gratitude for you, for a girl. Rochester, take it easy. There's a red light up ahead. It'll be green, red, and green again, go with you. <laughs> Just take it easy, that's all. 35 miles an hour. That's the new speed limit. Well, let's get a new motor and have a go at it. <laughs> Listen, Rochester, you're going to miss this little car when we're riding around in that buggy I bought. Hey, that reminds me, I've got to get a horse for that buggy. A horse? Oh, then you gave up the idea of letting Dennis pull it. Well, that was just a wild thought. Besides, if I ever hit him with a whip, his mother'd kill me. <laughs> hey, there's John Wilson waiting for us. Hello, John! Hello, Jack! Mary! Hello, John! Hop in, Mr. Wilson. Well, hello, Rochester. Well, that's it, Jack. Right in the middle, or over we go. <laughs> Don't get cute, Rochester. This isn't a canoe. Say, Don, I'll bet you're a little nervous about going on the air for a new product. Yeah, aren't you a little jittery? No, no. Why, I'm just crazy about those good old grape nuts flakes. <laughs> Don, that's, that's grape nuts flakes. Great. Watch it. Turn here, Rochester. Dennis lives right up the street. I got spurs that jingle jingle. I got spurs that jingle jingle. As I go riding merrily. As I go riding merrily. They say, oh, wait this way. Dennis! Dennis! Oh, Dennis! Yes, Mother? Hurry up. Veronica Lace is waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. Here. Here's your hat and your music. Thanks, Mother. And here's ten cents. I'm sure Mr. Betty won't charge more than the bus. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Mother. Here I am, Mr. Betty. Hello, everybody. Oh, Hello, Betty. Betty. How are you? Where'd you get the red hair, hair kid? kid? <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, what are you waiting for, kid? Hop in the car. I'm not moving one step until I find out if I get a raise this year. You better get in this car, kid. Kenny Baker is in the tool chest. <laughs> now get in. Yes, sir. All right, Rochester, we've got to pick up Mr. Harris now. Well, Dennis, you all set for the first program? I sure am. Oh, by the way, Mr. Benny, I shopped all over for a horse collar, but I couldn't find one to fit me. <laughs> Well, don't bother about it, kid. I'm I'm getting a horse. I got spurs that jingle. What's a horse got that I haven't got? <laughs> it's it's nothing against you, Dennis. I'm just getting a horse. That's all. Now forget it. As I go right. Gosh, and I cut holes in my straw hat so my ears could stick through. <laughs> And they sing, oh, ain't you glad you're single? Get hot, Daddy. And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Oh, Lily Bell. Oh, Lily Bell. <laughs> oh, Lily Bell. Oh, Lily. <laughs> Rochester, don't sing while you're driving. Now, turn left here and we'll pick up Mr. Harris. I, I told him to be waiting on the corner here. Isn't that Phil up ahead? Where? Right there, and he's pushing a baby carriage. Oh, yeah. He's talking to a street cleaner. That's the nurse. She's got a white uniform on. <laughs> oh, yes. Gee, I'll be glad to see his baby. Hey, Phil! Phil! Hiya, Jackson! Hello, everybody! Oh, Hiya, Phil! Hello, 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 Sir, well, get a load of that baby of yours. Ain't she a Lulu, Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Let me hold her, will you, Phil? Here you are, Mary. There now. Oh, isn't she a darling? <laughs> <laughs> Say, Phil, 
Phil, are those the little booties I sent the baby? No, they didn't fit, Jackson. You must have had awful big feet when you were a kid. <laughs> Hey, I, I was a rugged little rascal. Oh, God, Dad. Yeah. Look at those blonde curls. Mm. <laughs> I used to have curls that made those look like a nickel. Way down to my ankles. Your arms are way down to your ankles, too. Never mind. <laughs> Jack lived on peanuts till he was 18. <laughs> That's Let me hold the baby, Mary. Here you are, Don. Careful now, careful. Don't worry, nurse. Could you cut your <laughs> Gee, she's always laughing. <laughs> Let me hold her, Don. Okay, Jack. Here you are. I got her. Coochie, coochie, coochie. <laughs> Now, now, don't be afraid. It's Uncle Jackie. Remember, I gave you those booties. <laughs> here, here, Phil. You better take her. Here, take the kid. Okay. <laughs> well, come on. Let's get going. Ah, uh, isn't she cute? Dennis, put down the nurse. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Come on, Phil, leave your baby with the nurse and let's get to the studio. Right with you, Jackson. Oh, nurse, I'll be home about 9.30, so be sure and have my bottle ready. <laughs> your bottle? Gin through a nipple. It's out of this world, Jackson. <laughs> I must try it sometime. Come on, Rochester, let's go. Watch the traffic now. Say, Jackson, ain't Alice and me got the cutest kid you ever seen? Sure, cute. Yeah, Phil, I must congratulate you. That baby of yours is a beautiful child. And what a disposition, always laughing. Not while I was holding her, she wasn't laughing. <laughs> well, what are you so mad about? You were holding the kid and she cried a little. That's all that happened. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Drive on, Rochester. Drive on. Step on it, fellas. We've only got a half an hour before the broadcast. Hope you brought your pass, Jack. You know, NBC has to be pretty strict for the duration. Oh, all that red tape is silly. Come on, fellas, follow me. Just a minute there. Gotta have passes, you know. Gotta have passes. Passes? Come to regulations. I don't make the rules, you know. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Now, look, officer. Here's my pass. Here's mine. Smile and Phil Harris, the Daily Double. Hmm. See you later, Mr. Benny. Okay, kid. Now, look, officer, I left my pass at home. Come on, Mary. Oh, no, you don't. One more step and I'll grill you. <laughs> Yipe, he's got a gun. Now, officer, I'm Benny, Jack Benny. Now, get Mr. Swallow, the manager, on the phone. He'll identify Mr. me. Mr. Swallow isn't in. Keep your hands up, you saboteur. <laughs> me, a saboteur? Me? What, what's that package you're hiding under your coat? That's my lunch, a deviled egg sandwich and a banana. <laughs> you want a bite? Mary, tell this guy who I am. I'm Mary Livingston, and he's Jack Benny. Here's my pass. You satisfied? Can we go in now? No hard feelings. Rules, rules, you know. You can put that revolver back in your holster. Okay, okay. Dog gone. That's the third toe today. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Let's go inside. All that trouble for nothing. Oh, wait a minute, Mary. Here's the fan mail department. I might as well pick up my bundle. After all, I've been off the air four months, you know. Gosh, look at all the mail here. Fever McGee, Aldridge family, Bing Crosby. We all get it. 
Oh, miss, is there any mail here for me, Jack Benny? Like I told you yesterday, no. <laughs> well, I knew I'd seen her someplace before. <laughs> Can't understand it. What's happened to my fans? Why don't they write? Well, maybe they think you're a military secret. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, hello there, Mr. Benny. How's my favorite comedian today? <laughs> Fine, fine. Oh, Mary, I'd like to have you meet Robert Welch. Uh, Mr. Welch is the new producer of our program. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Welch. I kiss your hand, madame. Oh, fine. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Welch. Miss Livingston's wristwatch seems to have got caught in your teeth. <laughs> Thanks. Now, Mr. Welch, uh, we're in a hurry and I'm nervous today. Now, what studio are we broadcasting from today? Well, now, let me see. Say, that's important, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's... It certainly is. Now, you're the new producer. Where are we broadcasting from? Now, uh, let me see. <laughs> I'm not getting off a very good start, am I? <laughs> no, you're not. Now, check on it. Check on it, for heaven's sake. Okay, check, 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 check. <laughs> He's so nervous, you know. Oh, here's Wilson. Say, Don, did you find out what studio we're broadcasting from? Yes, Jack. We're in Studio B across the hall here. Good. Let's go in and get our rehearsal started. Well, I'm afraid we'll have to wait a few minutes, Jack. There's a program rehearsing in there now. What program? The Heartaches of Sally Sutton. Oh, the, the Heartaches of Sally Sutton? <laughs> Say, that's one of my favorites. That program is uh, strictly for housewives. Oh, it is, eh? Well, Rochester and I listen to it every morning while we're doing the dishes. And their soap doesn't give you the dishpan hands, either. Come on, let's go inside and watch it, huh? Oh, boy, I can hardly wait to see Rochester's face tomorrow morning when I tell him everything before it happens. Quiet. And so, chin up. But with tears in the <laughs> Sally Sutton faces the bitter realization that her once happy home is about to be broken up. That husband of hers has really been playing around, the rat. <laughs> Acting on the advice of old Judge Hooper, who lives in the little house at the bend of the road, <laughs> Sally is determined to have a showdown with her husband, Paul. And Rochester thinks they're going to smooth things out. Jack, quiet. It is midnight, and Sally, chin up, but with tear-dimmed eyes, is awaiting Paul's arrival. <laughs> Ah, good evening, sweetheart. Am I late for dinner? Oh, Paul, how can you call me sweetheart when your mind is on another? Then you. Yes, Paul, I know. I found out all about you and that welder at Lockheed. <laughs> if you're referring to Nancy Randolph, there's absolutely nothing between us. Oh, Paul, lies, lies. I swear it. I've never even seen her in a dress. <laughs> Dress or overalls that Nancy is a siren. No so use, Paul. This is the end. You mean? Yes, a divorce. A divorce. A divorce. Jack, for heaven's sake. <laughs> oh, Paul. I've forgiven you time after time. First it was that cigarette girl. Then that telephone operator. Then that model. And don't forget that usherette. And then that usherette. <laughs> you, Paul. A divorce is our only solution. Very well, my dear. But I'm afraid that our son, Wilbur, must go with me, his father. No, no, not that. No, no, Paul. Don't you take a ten-year-old child away from his mother. You can't do it. I'll fight for him. Oh, boy, wait, Lamar, warning. I'm going to bet Rochester five bucks they're going to get a divorce. <laughs> it's a sin. Please, Paul. He's my child as well as yours. All right, Sally. We'll let the boy decide. Oh, Wilbur! Wilbur! Will you please come in here? Yes, your father and I would like to talk to you. Mother, father, did you call me? Dennis! <laughs> Dennis Day, what are you doing on this program? Well, i got to make some money someplace. <laughs> I don't care, you're working for me. 
Now listen, kid. Mr. Benny, please, we're rehearsing. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're on the air in a few minutes, and I've got to have Dennis. It's our first broadcast. I've got to have the studio. Oh, too. all right, you saboteur. This is a deviled egg sandwich and a banana. <laughs> Now, get out of here and let us rehearse. Now, see here, Dennis. Yes, Father. I'm not your father. That's the other guy. Now, let's get going around here. Dennis, run over your song. We've got to rehearse that. How can you sing without an orchestra? Oh, for Phil, where are the orchestra boys? I don't know. Oh, yes, I put them in Deacon's Warehouse for the summer. <laughs> well, get them out. Get them out. Oh, Jack, don't you think I'd better rehearse the commercial once? After all, this is a new product. Okay, Don, yeah, rehearse it. Gee, we'll be on the air right away. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, next time you go to your neighborhood grocer, why not ask for America's most distinctive flake cereal? Toasty, brown, sweet as a nut, grapes, nuts, flakes. No, no, Don, not grapes. That's great, great. Oh, darn it. You will find the grape, nuts, flakes are a thrifty buy in the big 12-ounce economy size package. So be sure to look for the big red letters on the box. Don, that was yellow. These, these are white letters, white. So be sure to look for the big white oh. letters on the no, box. they're little white letters, little Don. So be sure to look for the little white letters on the box. They spell great nuts flakes. There you go again. Oh, what's the matter with me? Jackson, here's the boy. Well, it's about time. Hold everything there. You got our passes, you know. Got our passes. Oh, get out of here. Now, John, John, watch that commercial. It's all right to say grapes, nuts, flakes now. But for heaven's sake, don't make that mistake when we're on the air or our sponsor will have a fit. Holy smoke, does our sponsor have fits? <laughs> no, no. Pay attention to the conversation, kid. All right, run over your song. Give him an introduction, Phil. Will okay, you? hit it, boy. I'm a wreck already. Only the first broadcast. <laughs> Careful, it's my heart. It's not my watch you're holding, it's my heart. It's not, no, I sent you that you quick leaving. It's not a book I lent you. That you never return. Remember, it's my heart. The heart with which so willingly I part. It's yours to take, to keep or break. But please, before you start, be careful. It's my heart. Stand by. We're on the air in 60 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Hurry it up, Dennis. Finish your song. We're going on the air. Remember, it's my heart. The heart with which so willingly I fall. It's yours to take, to keep or break, but please, before you fall, be careful, it's my Good, 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 good swell. That song will be okay, Dennis. Now, Mary, Mary, pass out the scripts, will you? We'll be on the air in about 20 seconds. Grab your scripts, everybody. We haven't got any scripts. Your writers didn't bring them in yet. What? No scripts? Stand by, everybody. 16 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for, for Pete's sake, no script. What are we going to do, Jack? I don't know. I'll have to ad-lib something. I'll tell you what. I'll start by sa out by saying, hello, everybody, this is Jack Bennett. You know, folks, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the studio. You leave Phil's baby out of this. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Darn my writers, a fine spot they put me in. Here I am, chin up, but with tear-dimmed eyes and no script. They've had all summer to get this program written. 
one little program. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what happened before we were supposed to go on the air tonight. And now, for tonight's show... Don, how can we do a show without a script? You gotta have jokes, you know. You gotta have jokes. <laughs> oh, what's the use? Play something, Phil. Most of us these days are faced with the problem of getting more mileage out of our tires. But homemakers face a different mileage problem. That's how to get more mileage from food, by getting more nourishment for spoonful. Well, here's a suggestion for you from the government nutrition program. Eat more of the vital protective foods that you should have every day. That includes whole grain cereals. Cereals such as delicious, toasty brown grape nuts flakes. For grape nuts flakes are a whole grain cereal, so they supply important whole grain food values, including iron, niacin, and vitamin B1. Extra vitamin B1. For grape nuts flakes, bring you even more B1 to the ounce than you find in the whole grain itself. And honestly, there isn't a more delicious way to get this grand all-around nourishment. For grape nuts flakes are multi-rich. Sweet as a nut, crammed full of wide-awake, flavorful goodness. Remember, you owe it to yourself to start every morning with the proper nourishment. And you can do that and enjoy it with good-to-eat, nourishing, grape nuts flakes. It isn't worth it. Oh. oh, guys, that was the most humiliating experience I've ever had. How'd the show go, boss? We didn't have a show, Rochester. No were, script. Were your writers over martini again? No, no, they just didn't work. Oh, by the way, Rochester, remind me to tune in on the uh, heartaches of Sally Sutton tomorrow morning. I have a hunch Paul and Sally are going to split up. No, boss, they're in love. Mr. Sutton might play around a little bit, but they ain't never going to separate. Oh, no? Well, I'll tell you what, Rochester. I'll just bet you five bucks they're going to get a divorce. And they're going to fight over the kid, too. Oh, Jack, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, he thinks he knows everything. This will be a lesson to him. 